Hello and welcome back to another video. Today you join me outside of London, King's Cross on this Sunday evening and I'll be heading off to uh, Grantham with Hull trains in first class. Should be a good video. Um, enjoy. London King's Cross was opened on the 14th of October 1852 and was designed by architect Lewis Cubitt. The station originally supported eight platforms, however just two were in passenger service, with the rest being used as sidings. Over time this has been expanded to 11 passenger platforms in total. In front of us we can see the entrance to the tube station, with the Victoria, Piccadilly, Northern, Hammersmith and City, as well as the Metropolitan Line, all connecting King's Cross to the rest of London. King's Cross's main concourse sports a mix of old and new architecture, with this part of the station opening back in 2012, replacing the 1970s extension where King's Cross Square stands today. Today I'll be catching the 1748 service that is currently displaying as on time. Before we have a look around the station, I'll collect my ticket for today, which can easily be done at any ticket machine or at the ticket office if you need some extra help. Now, usually at this time, when I travel in first class from King's Cross, I head off to the first class lounge. Unfortunately, this is only open to LNER first class ticket holders. It's important to note this if you're deciding to travel with Hull trains or LNER in first class. So instead of a comfy armchair with a coffee, I'll go find a bench to sit down somewhere and wait for my train. Up on the mezzanine level, you can find a selection of overpriced restaurants, as well as a lovely Greg's to satisfy your hunger. But there's also a McDonald's immediately adjacent to the station, which would give you much cheaper prices than inside the station. Today our train will depart from platform number 9. Boarding starts about 15 minutes before departure. Today we'll be travelling on one of Hull Train's Class 802 Paragon units. These were introduced with the company back in December of 2019. Seating comes in a 2 plus 1 configuration with a good mix of airline and table style seats. I have a seat reservation for today, but I'm sat between three strangers in a table of four, so I'll pick this seat on the single side of the train for today. Before we depart King's Cross, let's have a quick seat tour. You can find this stylish wooden table in front of you to do some work on or eat at. Down to the left, you can find a button to recline the seat. Padded armrests can be found either side of you. 
As you can see, Legroom is superb for today. You can find a coat hook on the seat in front of you, as well as one affixed to the wall. There's also a window blind, as well as a seat reservation dial here. Now the seats, while a little firm, provide a pretty good level of comfort, with a nice little cushion to rest your head on as well. Now, one last thing, to your right, you can find a single plug socket, as well as a USB port to charge your devices. And we depart on time at 48 minutes past five. Total scheduled journey time for today will be one hour and three minutes, with top speeds of 125 miles per hour. Immediately after departure, we hit the gaswork tunnels under Regent's Canal. The next stop will be if you're enjoying the video so far, why not give it a like, as well as subscribe to the channel. I'm nearly at 1000 subscribers, so all support is greatly appreciated. Complimentary service for today starts off with a nice strong tea. Wi-Fi is complimentary, with speeds good enough for light browsing. Our first and only intermediate stop for today is Stevenage. Immediately after Stevenage, a sandwich and crisps is served. There was a choice of cheese ploffmans or a chicken salad sandwich, which I can report tasted very nice. Time for a little wonder. Toilets can be found in the vestibule areas of the train, with this coming in the disabled size variant. I'm glad to say that everything was in good working order, as well as being clean. Through here, we can find standard class, coming in a 2 plus 2 configuration. I have a review on whole train standard class on the channel, link in the top right of your screen now. One thing I must highlight is the lighting on these trains is just ridiculously bright for some reason. If you'd like to help my channel out even more than subscribing, then head on over to my Patreon for two week early access to all of my videos for as little as £1 a month. After just over an hour, we're fast approaching Grantham, so I'll give my thoughts on the trip now. 
Overall, I was rather pleased with today's journey. Hull Trains Class 802s are stylish, modern and relatively comfortable. Well, at least I can say that for first class. The onboard catering for today was pretty good, with a complimentary sandwich as well as drinks being available. However, compared with LNER, Hull Trains does have a few shortcomings. For starters, there's no lounge access at King's Cross for Hull Trains passengers, with LNER also offering hot food on some of their services. If you're travelling from London to Grantham, I recommend using LNER over Hull Trains. Other than that, the hard product of the trains is relatively similar. I paid £20.10 for my advanced single using my 16-25 roll card for 33% off the original ticket price. I think this overall represents pretty good value for money. And we arrive into Grantham on time at 52 minutes past 6. Well I do hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did please give it a like, comment and share, thank you.